We are at the Partners Breakfast here at uh, Godinez High School at the gym. So let's talk to some of the people, see what's going on today and what they're looking forward to continuing this wonderful relationship with Santa Ana Unified. So we are here with Bruce Hamlin. You are also part of the uh, Santa Ana Public School Foundation. One of the, the, the founding members, I, I believe, right? Well, no, I'm not one of the founding members. No, I actually, but, but yes, I was on the board. Right. Yes. So tell us uh, what you think of uh, what you see now at the district and what you look forward to working with the district in the future. Well, I really love uh, Dr. Phillips. Uh, she really brings a lot of excitement. Um, and it's so it's so nice that when they did the, the search for a new superintendent, that they're able to find one that was that from, from here. So uh, I think she's got a lot of great excitement, a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, she's going to bring good things to the to the school district. Excellent. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Good. So, so what is your name? Karen Armstrong. And uh, tell us uh, your participation with the school district. Well, we are a community partner with the Kevin Armstrong MD Memorial Sports Foundation. We have been partners with the district since October of 2005. And we've been here as part of the district supporting students and athletic programs. So as, as a partner with the district since 2005, you've seen several uh, superintendents and maybe some of these presentations. What do you look forward to working with uh, Dr. Phillips from now in the, into the future? Well, any superintendent, the five that we've worked with, had the pleasure of working with, are very passionate about the students in this community. And making sure that students here in Santa Ana have the same opportunities as students in other districts. No matter their any language barrier, whether or not they're the first to attend college or graduate from high school, and that's what we want to do as well. We want to try to help the students in Santa Ana by elevating their expectations of themselves. We do that by helping to change their experience and change their environment by some of the athletic programs that we sponsor. And so you think uh, that Kevin would be proud uh, of Santa Ana Unified today? Dr. Kevin Armstrong, my brother, would be so very proud of this district and all the work that's being done here to benefit these students and make sure that they have a future that they're entitled to. We are here with Mr. Kirby. Hey, how are you? What do you think of this morning's uh, presentation? Well, I thought it was nice. I think she did a wonderful job. Uh, as she said, I think 100 days in her current position. We're delighted to have her, and uh, I think she's bringing attention to a lot of unique capabilities and, and uh, approaches that we have to teaching young people in this community. And as a business leader, uh, do you think that our students are being well prepared by SAUSD to go out there and make it in the real world? Well, I definitely do. In fact, I'm involved, uh, as you may know, with High School Inc., which that's our main focus is to try to get them, you know, better equipped and trained to enter work fields. And uh, anyway, we're doing that. Our graduation rate at High School Inc. is in the mid-90 percentile, which is pretty good. So we think we're on the right track. My name is Paula Garcia Arsenault. Yes. And uh, tell us what you liked about the presentation. Oh, it was exciting. It's always exciting. Dr. Phillips is amazing. We're excited to have her a part of now, of course, being the superintendent, but just excited to keep moving forward. It's great things going on in our schools here in Santa Ana, and I just love her energy. Great. All right, and we're here debriefing on the superintendent's uh, breakfast. Uh, what is your name? I'm Jeff Hittenberger, Chief Academic Officer, Orange County Department of Ed. Very good. So you're looking at uh, this from a different perspective, the educational component. What do you think uh, from that perspective and what should people in Santa Ana be proud of? I, I am very, very excited about what's going on in Santa Ana Unified. Um, your new superintendent, Dr. Phillips, is a visionary. She shared her vision this morning. It's very compelling. We felt the power of the student stories, um, believe in all the work that's going on here. Um, so I, I think the, the community can be very proud of the school district. Well, thank you for being here. You bet. Thanks so much. We are here with Mr. Mike Hara. Uh, are you president and CEO of Caribou Industries? I am the president, president. of uh, Caribou, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So tell us uh, from your perspective, you're a Santa Ana Unified, uh, a Santa Ana High School uh, alumni, is that, is that right? I am not an alumni of Santa Ana, but uh, I feel like I am. I've been here for 23 years, and I've been involved in education here for, uh, for the same period of time. Uh, I designed and built and started all the original movement for the Orange County High School of the Arts. Also helped uh, design and build and uh, get their credentials for OSEA, Orange County Elementary Arts Academy, dual immersion school. Uh, I'm very active with uh, Kid Works with uh, David Benavides and that entire group. Uh, this was today, a, I believe, a very historic day. This was an incredible event of, uh, about our education and our kids because the most important thing that we have 
uh, is education. Uh, without education, well, I don't believe we have anything. And these kids today, they need to have this education. Uh, the, what, what the Santa Ana Unified School District does for these kids out here, especially in Santa Ana, is absolutely remarkable. It's something that I think uh, is a model for many other schools uh, to follow in the future. Uh, to help these kids uh, get their way through uh, college and, and even further than that to get a job uh, and, and strengthen our economy, I don't, I, it's simply the very best thing that could happen. From, from what you heard today, of course, you have, as, as a Carbo Industries, you have many uh, businesses. Would you consider hiring uh, Santa Ana Unified School District graduates? Absolutely. I, I think they're just, just the best. We are here with Valerie Amesqua, Clerk of the Board of Education. What did you think of uh, this presentation, the State of the District? I thought it was a great presentation in the breakfast and to have all of our community partners here. And I'm really excited for the next breakfast because it's following immediately because we're going to have our parents here. And as we know, there are secret sauce to success. Not only our community partners, but our parents. And so, but it was a great presentation and you know our superintendent did a great job. And we are doing some amazing things in Santa Ana and we want people to know that. And we're going to continue to tell our story. We are SAUSD. We are SAUSD. We are here with Dr. Almi Harris, with yes. a superintendent from the county, and also superintendent from SAUSD many years ago. Right. What did you think? What do you think of the this breakfast and the direction that SAUSD is going? I thought it was an amazing morning. I felt very inspired, encouraged. Um, I think that the board, the superintendent the foundation, all of these forces coming together, you know, coalescing in behalf of students was remarkable. So it's an honor for me to be here. I salute the Santa Ana community. I love the fact that students are right at the center and their parents, you know, and all the challenges that the district faces right now, they're enormous, but this district is full of faith and confidence. And, and that's very, um, it's very motivational for me as you can see, and so uh, it's just an honor to be here. Dr. Adria Magatanoji from the Santa Ana Public Schools Foundation, uh, you were one of the originators of uh, the foundation as well, right? Yes, you know, in Santa Ana, sitting previously as a school board member, we really knew that we needed another arm representing the community to best support the school district, so we did start the Santa Ana Public Schools Foundation. Yes. And uh, of course, many, many years now, we're here now. Uh, what do you think of this presentation and the direction of the district with uh, Dr. Phillips? So, you know, it's all about partnership in Santa Ana and collaboration. And so, this is a perfect example. The whole community coming together to learn and support education. And the role that the foundation can play in helping this to happen, we're privileged and proud to do it. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. Estamos aquí con el director de la Escuela Méndez, el nuevo director, el señor Moreno. ¿Cómo está? Bien, gracias. Mucho gusto. Eh, feliz de estar aquí con nuestros padres. Eh, tenemos aquí a dos de nuestros padres, a, a Mireia y a Vianey. Eh, son uh, madres que son activas en nuestra escuela y estamos muy contentos de que estén con nosotros hoy en este día. Muy bien. Muchas gracias y gracias por estar aquí. ¿Qué les pareció lo que dijo la superintendente, el mensaje que tiene? Oh, estuvo muy, muy bien, muy exitoso y muy orgullosa de ser parte de SA. No. Oh, fue una increíble mañana, increíble, mucho gusto en conocer a la nueva superintendente, va a ser increíble, Se quiere trabajar con la comunidad, con los padres que nos tomó en cuenta esta mañana, soy increíble, yo feliz, feliz pa ser parte del distrito de Santana. Muchas gracias, otra vez su nombre. Bien ahí, mire ya. Gracias, a saber cuál es cuál. <risa> Estamos aquí con unos padres, madres de la escuela Fremont, ¿cuál es su nombre? Marta Méndez. Paula Frutis. Josefina Ríos. María Pérez. María Castañeda. ¿Y qué les pareció el mensaje de la superintendente y la dirección que va llevando el distrito? Es muy importante, dio muchas opciones para los alumnos y muchas cosas que nosotros como padres no conocíamos del sistema. Eh, tiene bastante para, nos, para nuestros alumnos. Bien positivo, nos está... Uh, nos está enseñando que sigamos trabajando con nuestros hijos, que apoyemos a la escuela para que tengamos unos hijos bien brillantes. Ah, pues a mí me pareció muy positivo también porque ahorita en este, en este tiempo hay muchas más oportunidades de las que había anteriormente y súper, muy bueno. Sí, es algo nuevo para nosotros que nos toman en cuenta como padres y que sí valemos la pena para nuestros hijos. Muy bueno, uh, 
nos damos cuenta de cosas que no, ¿cómo se dice? No hemos escuchado cosas nuevas y positivas. Y hay mucho por hacer. Bueno, muchas gracias. ¿Su nombre? Elizabeth Molina. ¿De qué escuela? Soy de la escuela Century en Santa Ana. ¿Y qué nos quería decir acerca de este día y lo, lo que ve como el futuro para el distrito? Es una gran oportunidad que nos están dando. Les agradecemos más a toda la directiva de todo el distrito de Santa Ana y a los padres que han asistido este día a esta hermosa reunión donde los pueden abrir tanto a los padres para que le demos a nuestros hijos un ejemplo y que sabemos que hay oportunidades para ellos para seguir adelante y verse unas personas más grandes adelante. Y Santa Ana sí se puede y así sigamos adelante, tanto los padres como colaboremos con los maestros y los directores de cada escuela. Gracias señora, le oye bien. ¿Y cuál es su nombre? Mi nombre es Erika Blake, venimos apoyando la escuela Monroe en Godínez, en Tarbet. ¿Y su nombre? Um, es Olivia García y venimos de la Escuela Monroe con la directora Tamara Ríos. Soy Berry Tamara Ríos, la directora de la Escuela Monroe. ¿Y qué es lo que más les gustó del mensaje de la superintendente y la dirección que tiene el distrito? Nos gustó que todos tenemos, uh, todos podemos participar, no, no importa el estatus. Right? A mí me gustó que todo tipo de programas que ofrecen y que están involucrados y que nos podemos involucrar los padres apoyando a nuestros hijos para que ellos tengan y terminen unos estudios eh, grandes en lo que es el colegio, el college, la universidad y todo eso. Muy bien, y entonces, ¿qué le diría a los demás papás? Obviamente trajo a algunos de sus representantes, pero a los demás papás que no pudieron estar aquí, ¿cuál es el mensaje de una directora para los padres acerca del distrito? Estoy muy feliz de haber venido esta mañana porque estoy escuchando la visión de la superintendente. Una gran visión para apoyar a los niños, para que ellos puedan llegar a tener el deseo de su corazón, que es llegar a ser profesionales en este país y de tener todo el apoyo. Es algo maravilloso que estoy muy feliz y yo sé que mis padres van a apreciarlo mucho. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Bien, estamos aquí, bueno, hemos visto el mensaje de la superintendente. ¿Cuál es su, lo, lo que piensa del mensaje y la visión que tiene para el distrito? Bueno, pues a mí me parece fabulosa. Eh, desde que estamos nosotros involucrados aquí en, 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 este, en el distrito de Santana, hemos visto muchos cambios, muchos cambios. Y con lo que dijo ahorita la, la superintendente, a mí me pareció fabuloso y vamos de la mano. Sí, pues este, igual, ¿verdad? Nosotros estamos muy emocionados y cuando empecé a ver todo lo que ella estaba mencionando, estaba yo, sí, es parte de lo que nosotros estuvimos como padres pidiendo en nuestras juntas de ELCA y en verdad hemos visto esos cambios que han sido bien positivos, siempre que sea para beneficio de los niños, de los papás y todos en general, ¿verdad? Porque como ella lo dijo, somos una familia. We are here with Lucinda Pueblos. You just heard the message from the superintendent. Of course, uh, you're part of the, the team the, the, uh, right there at the school district. What's the, uh, the new vision, not the new vision necessarily, but what's the direction of the district and what do you think about it? Well, it was very clear from our superintendent, Dr. Phillips, that our vision is to ensure that our students have the opportunity and access to be college and career ready and to earn their degree. And it's the promise that we have working with our university partners and our community college partner in SAC, uh, Santa Ana College, but also to provide for our kids um, just extracurricular activities. Uh, we support the arts um, and really measure our work. So we're really looking at the progress our students make academically and providing um, as much as we can for students. And today was really eventful because our superintendent had two programs today, one for our community and one for our parents. Right. And empowering our parents and telling them and letting them know what we're doing is so critical. So when we ask, they know we're hearing them and we're listening to them because um, they know best what their kids need. They are the first teachers. So today's event is a fantastic opportunity for us to connect in a real way with our parents and to engage them and to help um, us as district leaders and communicate with teachers uh, and the community. So we're all working together for the best, uh, for, for the betterment of our students.
We are here with our superintendent, Dr. Stephanie Phillips. We just concluded two back-to-back -back presentations to our partners and to our parents. Uh, why the difference? Why the two? And then uh, what do you think? Uh, how do you think of it? So this whole administration is about connectedness. So we have classroom supports and we're continuing those. We have community partners and we honor those. And now we want to connect all those dots. And part of the big part of the equation is our parents. Our parents are our first teachers. Our parents are the connection and the glue in the community. And we need for them to hear the same messages, the same information that everybody else is getting. And I don't know that we have effectively tapped into everybody, but we're trying. We want to we want to reach out as many times in as many ways as we can. And this was just an opportunity to one show them that they are important, and two to sh to give them the messages of the good news that's happening in Santa Ana. There are many times where we get to school choice fairs or or situations where parents say, "Oh, I didn't know that." And so we want them to know it's knowledge is power and we have to empower them with the knowledge of all the options in Santa Ana so that they can be better advocates for kids, so that they can be better partners with teachers in the district. It's all one family, it's all one community, and if we're not working together and pulling all in the same direction, then we're missing a great opportunity for our kids. Not only that, you, you spent the resources to get this recorded so that anybody can watch this later. Anybody can watch this, and I hope that people do share this with other people. And it's not about me, it's really about the district. And I hope that I did the just district justice in really trying to give a sampling of all the good things. I could have been here for hours just talking about you know academics or just talking about uh, so social emotional supports but really what I want the message I wanted to get out there was that there's so much going on that just look ask us dig deeper it's not about one school because my grandfather went there and I went there it's about what are the best options for our kids what are our kids interested in and what will keep them engaged in learning for the rest of their lives that's what it's all about Thank you very much. So now if you're watching this afterwards, of course, because you're not here, share this video with everybody that you know, Santa Ana, outside of Santa Ana, because we want everybody to know the wonderful things that are going on here at SAUSD. Absolutely. We are SAUSD.